Okay, so I bought one of these Ultimaker clones um, a while ago. I'm thinking I really should have bought an original Ultimaker because this had some little problems. But one of the things that fixed my issues is I just recently bought a version uh, 2 hot end. Uh, you can see it there. And I use a resistor instead of a heat cartridge, and I have mine set up for that just because I have a whole bunch of these um, resistors. I use 8.2 ohms because this is a almost 20 volts going to this. One of the things I did do is I, I machined um, this extruder and uh, this gear, James V's messenger. I went ahead and I bought the um, version 2 um, for the upgrade uh, uh, clamp for the uh, feeder. And boy, I'm really happy with that. This, this feedstock that I bought, uh, this is... Um, this is an ultimate machine, but I, even that I've had problems with feeding it. It would feed a couple feet and then uh, not feed for a little bit. This, uh, uh, this uh, pinch grip uh, or um, uh, feeder grip, uh, really, uh, it just, it's amazing. Um, and the other thing, too, is... Uh, That hot end it works really well. I'm actually really impressed with this hot end. Um, and it only took like 20 minutes to put it all together. Well, maybe 30, maybe up to an hour at width if you include reading the instructions. But it uh, it went together really easy, and it, it's just very incredibly good at um, at not jamming. Um, the the issues I had with the other one, the other one wasn't. From Ultimaker, it was an Ultimaker clone, but it had the issues of clogging, like uh, a lot of people have had on the Ultimaker forum. Um, I also really like the simplicity up here of, of this uh, this clamp. And uh, it, anyway, this this hot end is just amazing. Anyway, um, this isn't my only machine, but I'm just showing this off for now. This is this is incredible. And also look. For, for those thinking about getting an Ultimator, this, this is basically the same design as an Ultimator. Look how even those walls are. That's, that's amazing. Anyway. Oh, this thing's so fun to watch. I mean, this is the first time in a while this has actually been working uh, really well at the higher speeds. Again, I had issues with feedstock um, slipping. Uh, I uh, actually had my own hot on, on here and then. Uh, I had to take it off. I got some bad. Uh, I got some bad uh, feedstock from a supplier in Black PLA, and that damaged uh, just about every printer I had. But uh, live and learn. So anyway, when I went to upgrade this printer, I went ahead and I just figured I'll spend the money and and buy uh, the actual hot end that Ultimaker has, and I'm really impressed with it. It's so simple, works really well. The only thing that I had to do is I had to um, I had to adjust uh, the Z height because this one seems like it's a little bit longer. It goes down a little bit, so I lose probably about five to eight millimeters of Z height. But that's for the reliability. That's okay. That's I'm pretty impressed. Anyway, I'm going to continue to print out this part and. Um, Maybe do some other videos of this. Uh, this printer I'm getting set up for doing a demonstration at a hobby shop. Uh, I've actually taken it with me three weeks in a row, and uh, I've had issues with the hot end in there just uh, getting clogged, the feedstock uh, slipping, and um, just a whole bunch of other little issues. And 
I'm just really impressed with this. It's hard to believe that uh, the version 2 hot end is that much more better on the Ultimaker, but anyway, it looks great. I see very, very little, if any, uh, oozing. I'm just really impressed with it. Anyway, I do have some alterations to my design, uh, mainly um, uh, didn't have all the uh, the uh, large uh, bolts that normally were included, so I picked these up from the hardware store. Just put acorn nuts on this side so I wouldn't cut myself if I ever put my hand there. But anyway, just really impressive. Anyway, this print will be done probably in about 40 minutes, but basically going to look like uh, look like this. Oh, look at those walls. Those are those are just really smooth. It's one thing that's amazing is uh, this this pinch grip uh, feeder. It's just uh, if you have a choice, uh, upgrade to it. It's it's it does a good job and it doesn't deform the filament, so you get. It doesn't deform the feedstock, so you get even a filament through your uh, hot end. It's just amazing. Look at, look at those eyes. That's uh, let me uh, get that to focus more. Look at how smooth those eyes are on the nose. You have a little excess here on the sides, but uh, that can be scraped away easy. Look at the walls. That's just really smooth. Anyway, I'd like to thank Ultimaker for getting me my parts too in, in a less than a week's time, actually. Alright, later. Bye.